Just in, journalists blocked police headquarters over missing colleagues. Hello, my wonderful people. You know, Nigerian government and security agencies are new lords in these quarters, in case you are not aware. These are new lords. They call their own, they give their own laws, and um, nobody speaks. Okay? Uh, journalists that went to cover uh, particular incidents have been you know, missing for over, I mean, and they, there's no respect of rule of law in this country. No respect of rule of law. You'd be surprised what Nigerian police have done to the journalists. I mean, journalism, it's a respected job. And they have, even in the constitution, they are not to be restricted so that they can adequately discharge their duty without fear or favor. With them, information is disseminated so the people can be well informed of all that is going on. Again and again, we've seen the federal government threatening journalists in this country not to reveal the activities of Boko Haram or whatever is going on and to say things minimally as if they have no, I mean, without the true, uh, you know, animosity of the real reality of what is going on. And this is what is happening as we speak. What is happening day and now as we speak. So when you look at everything that is happening, you understand that this is this is in this is enough. We must call a spade a spade. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Let's get all the details. See how journalists have crowded the police headquarters. Just in journalists block police headquarters over missing colleague. Members of the Nigerian Union of Journalists, NUG, have blocked the Nigerian police headquarters in Abuja in protest over the vanguard journalist Tudor Salimo, who had been missing for the past 13 days. The chairman of the FCT Council of NUG, Emmanuel, who led the protest with others, said that a law-abiding citizen should not go missing just a few meters away from the force headquarters without any re reasonable response from the police. He also presented a petition to the police demanding actions and accountability for the safety of the journalists and the res rescue of their missing colleague. The police public relations officer, Frank Mobile, who received the petition on behalf of the police said the case of the missing journalist was already with them and investigations was ongoing to unravel the circumstances surrounding the disappearance. Meanwhile, reliable information have it that the journalist has been held back by these very said people who have held these people, who has held this um, set of journalists because of what they were speaking about and what they were investigating. And now they've, they've heard them and police are saying, eh, we too, we don't know. Eh, we too, they look at the matter. Ah, welcome to Nigeria. Have you heard of the word deceit? The order of the day. You know what you have done. You know what it all entails. You know your participation. Yet, you pretend that you know nothing. You know, this deceitful game and all that is happening, it have to stop. Oh. And at some point, we have to call a spade a spade. And we need to rise up and say the truth as it is. Because some people will never come up with the truth. Especially security forces in Nigeria. Sadly, most of them are not to be trusted. They are seeing white. They tell you it's black. And they can see it. And if you insist that it's, that it's white, they will take it to the next level, although they know they are wrong. With confidence, oppress you. With conf confidently oppressing you. And they know that they are wrong. And everybody looks at it and everybody is quiet and pretending that all is well. It is a wake-up reality check for every one of us. That if things must not be the same way, oh, Nigerians, Nigerians, we need to work at it. If things cannot continue, if we must not allow things to continue the way we are seeing them, then we must all agree together. How can somebody come to the police headquarters to cover a particular case and go missing and just go missing like that? And when they are asked, they say, eh, eh, we also, we also, we also heard the matter. Heard which matter? You also heard which matter? 
How can somebody be missing just from the police headquarters a few meters away? How can somebody just get missing a whole human being, or a whole human being, a full grown man and woman, get missing from the police headquarters because they came to cover a situation, an incident, and you guys that you guys feel they should not. And all of a sudden they get missing. And everybody is quiet. You see this country, eh? Our not sticking together with one voice and saying it as it is is what largely has brought us to where we are. Uh, if we if we can adequately stand up together and say no more oppression and we mean it and we stand for it and we, we rise up to the occasion, you will see that there will be a difference. If we can all stick together, if we can all rise up with one voice vehemently, we can all state it without fear or favor that this will not be allowed to happen again. No more perpetration of evil. You will see things will change. Oh, you will see it. You will see the change. You will see it before your very eyes. You can attest to it that there will be change. But when we all continue to deceive ourselves, we all pretend and just glass ourselves around as if nothing. You will be surprised. You will be very surprised. So these are some of the things that are going on and why we all need to wake up, you know, and, and say the truth as it is because we cannot continue in this in this stage of oppression and feel that all will be all will suddenly turn right. It's you and I rising up and saying no to oppression. It's you and I rising up and do not allow this, you know, deceit going on right now for them to continue to put it on our face and pretend that all is well. You see, the current predicament of all that is happening clearly shows us that what is going on, you know, it, it's it's not right. It's not normal. The journalists went to cover a particular issue and the journalists get missing. People are calling and are asking, uh, so where is the journalist? And the police themselves are saying, we also heard the matter and we are looking into it. Looking into what exactly? What exactly are you looking at? That you don't have a knowledge of what has happened to the journalists? You don't have a knowledge? You're oblivious to the, you're oblivious to the fact that oh, something has happened to somebody? You're, you, don't, you don't have a knowledge. You don't know. Excuse me. Excuse me, Nigerians. So this is why, you know, we must continue to speak out. Because if you say it's not my business, ah, hmm, don't let it get to your tone before you know that it's your business. Okay, we need to stick together. Don't let it get to your tongue before you know it is your business. Leave us a comment. We'd love to hear from you. Please don't forget to like us, share, subscribe, click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news. God bless you. Have a lovely day. Bye for now. Bye.